All right. Well, let's head off to a planet side to get some of these quests going. So I think we'll go do the message relay one first because that seems like a real easy one and it'll get us a chance to be on a space station. See what that's like. Um, and then we'll head to the planet that we have two quests for. So one thing I need to do is when we're on the ship, I need to de-equip um, Felix because Felix doesn't have any stake on the site, and we'll take Ellie and Pravati with us. I mean, you know, you, you know, some people Warning. in this world. Intruders will be. Oh, it's you. Ha ha ha, Ada. But yeah, no, some people watch serials and stuff like that, and you know, get their fix there on the crew. And, you know, some people like me are, you know, super, super nosy and want to be all up in the cruise business and, you know, live vicariously through their love life. So, you know, let's get, uh, can we sort by armor? Is there a sort button at all? Um, all right, we'll grab this armor. Grab this helmet. I'd like everyone to have at least some decent-ish armor on. God, some of these armor suits I have in here are crap. Interestingly enough, his vestments are actually pretty decent as far as uh, armor goes. Okay. Let's get everyone jumbled around and equipped. So you are going back in your street clothes for now. You get a chef's hat. Why not? Um, Vicar Max, I would like to take your gear. Um, long guns, melee weapon skills. Let's see. Pravati, you got the 26. With heavy weapon skills, that's fine. Ellie, you get matching armor. And... Um... Oh, wow, that's actually better. All right, never mind. Um... Oh, wait, not you. Ellie. There we are. So Ellie is using the Toxic Handgun. Parvati is using... Oh, that's where the flamethrower went. Okay, so she's got a flamethrower and the electric hammer. So we've got plasma, acid. So we've got a little bit of every damage. Um, let's see if we can get a better melee weapon for her. I think we have a few uniques in here. Um, Blade on a stick. We got the landing pad cutter. I mean, honestly, the sword is actually pretty powerful. Like 137 DPS, that actually is some of our better DPS. So maybe we'll go with that. All right, and that's tech skills. And one of these other ones is tech skills too, isn't it? No, maybe not. That's a hack. But it weighs one pound. That's a hack, and it weighs nothing. So we don't need it on for long. All right, we're down to 62 pounds. And let's set off for our next path. So welcome, Keely. Yeah, I think that's Keely, if not Kelly. Pretty sure it's Keely. Let me know which one it is, and I will be sure to make sure not to call you the wrong one anymore. Learned a lockpick so I could make my stuff lockpick proof. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Hold up, remember. Ghost would be a great captain, just gotta remember to hold all your secrets and items you'd rather not lose. I mean, I could pickpocket, you know, captain. any crew members that I wanted to look at. Uh, picked up the stress call. Can you play it back for me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's. There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. That sounds fun. Unemployed. For law's sake, <laughs> if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no! Well, that's a fun distress call. We are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. 
Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. All right. A conversation. Position, Captain, I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling discombobulated. Was there another topic on your mind? Um, sad when you remember Hatstorm. We don't need to discuss Alex directly, but I was wondering how he improved your design. Why don't you ask your previous captain in more detail? Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Damn. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. All right, where'd you come from originally? You call this personality. The information in my memory bank oh. says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by, redacted, on the date of, redacted, for the express purpose of, redacted, I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once. Alex did not build me, and would not say who did. Alright. That's all for now. Alright, let's head out to the relay station, get that mission done. Then we'll go to Cilia, get the two quests there done. And then... Monarch, maybe? Somewhere. Which one was the second? Was it Kelly? I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm really bad at names, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, I think we've got everyone equipped. We don't have cows anymore. I don't know why we did. I'm very confused about that still. But it is time to head off ship. Do we have all of our junk out of our inventory? <sighs> Do we want to take the shrink ray? I don't... I just don't really feel like the, I'm going to use it much, but we got our sniper, we got our plasma rifle. Maybe I should tinker with the plasma rifle a little bit more. Can we boost this thing any? Or is it super expensive? Ooh, Jesus, it's super expensive now. I'll have to look for maybe like a higher level base one or something. Alright, we'll see how things perform and then we'll adjust from there. All right, Kelly, got it. All right, we got Ellie and Parvati. Boom, boom. Oh, that must be the toss ball. I was like, what the hell? You got, like, psychic powers or something? But it just freezes their animation in, like, boop. When you don't have your mouse on them. All right, I think that's a good companion set. So let's go on to the Relay GB23. We have our engineer with us. We have a absolute ridiculous ton of engineering skills. So we're up to 60 engineering, up to a 93 adjusted valley between, value between Ellie and Parvati. So I think we can fix whatever relay issues we have going on here. And if not, I can take a drink of something that will let me. There are enemies. What are we dealing with? Okay, the robots have revolted. It's a touch different from the ones I've seen. Shouldn't be so hard to get it patched up, though. So, the robots, the issue, we'll get electric. Quiet. Well, let me guess. Bolted? Barred. Yeah, we gotta go all the way around to get into the main door. I mean, I could put on my hacking gear, but... Impressive. We have so many lockpicks, it's not a big deal. <laughs> if I start running low, like under 20 again, then I'll actually start caring about putting on my lockpicking gear. <laughs> Alright. Auto mechanical home security control system. Display unit status. Six mechanicals are patrolling. Kill on hostility is kill on site. Hostility override for owners active. Owners are Alexander J. Fry. I hate this little buzzing. Update security routines. Begin charging cycle, return to root. I mean, I could just make all of them, by using hack, just go to their charging stations. I can blow them up into charging pods for their loot, so, you know, 
No loss there. And 600 extra XP for doing that. Sweet, everything in here is not stealing. Town and country. Looped in everything that's not nailed down. Examine. Security auto mechanical manual. Instructions printed in this manual have covered by mostly illegible scrawl. Entire paragraphs are crossed out with frantic lines of dark ink. Some places the pages are torn from with the force of whoever wielded the pen. One section describing the correct procedures for unsetting or for setting auto mechanicals on a proper charging schedule is mostly untouched. Random letters within the text are circled as though the owner were trying to discover some hidden message within. Interesting. Phrase journal, a beautiful dream. Last night I dreamed, and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that I la that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them, to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned, and Delilah was beside me. I did not question why my superior was there. Her eyes so full of the emotions I know she feels, but dares not show at work. I wrapped her cris her neck in crimson, tying it as tight as a scarf on a cold day. So beautiful. And the crimson on her neck opened as a second mouth began screaming, screaming. Oh, God. When I woke, I was scared. The dreams are so real now. This time I recognized a face. I had to leave work early today. Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look with a touch of crimson on her neck. Her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I must. I will become. Must find help. So he was a murderer who wants to slit throats. All right. Well, we got some crazy people. This door is locked as well, so it looks like we're going the other way. Um. Okay, that's like a drop box, but we can't get into it. Luckily, they all kind of turned themselves off, so we could just shoot them while they're in the charging pods. We probably shouldn't shoot the auto mechanicals on the ship. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. Where? Let's look at our journal. Um, that's the stress signal. Silent voices. Each relay terminal maintains a backup of messages. Um, bring the station online. It does not say we get a bonus for keeping all the robots alive. But we might. This game has been quite nice about bonuses and stuff for doing extra tasks. Oh, hello there. Um, that looks like a bomb. trust this room. How about you two just okay. not move? Can I... Ow! Alright, so, so much for disabling that. Um, why am I not healing? Is this part of the concussed debuff? Temperament below average. No passive health regen. All right. I thought it was because I'm afraid of heights and I'm in a space station. Well, you know what? Well, that's easy to hack. So this looks like it would set off an alarm if I went through it. So let's just not go through the obvious trap laser. And let's get all the cool loot from back here. Um, sure. Coming your way. Sweet tactical shotgun. Yes, yeah, so that probably would have alerted all the auto mechanicals and combat drones and stuff like that. Meanwhile, we can handle them while they sleep. Watch a pro at work. How about that? All right, the acid pistol really does seem to do a pretty good job against those things, so that's nice. Hey, a pickaxe. Purple berry lager. Phrase journal escape. I had to start a new journal. I can't read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, help, help them. They show me the pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want, no, need the gifts I can give. All it would take was a few mo moments with a blade. A bright, bright, bright fountain of crimson to light the eyes and all of their pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. 
Saw a friend today. An old friend from school who's now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told him about my dreams. Nothing outright. Oh no, I wasn't so as foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I'd found and described my dreams and whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he'd helped this character. He looked at me and he knew. He knew. He knew! The whispers told me to end his pain. That he'd tell. He'd tell. I got up and left quickly. I did not hurt him. Not. Not. I have to leave Byzantium. He will tell, tell, tell. But come for me and lock me away. I must find a secret place. A place where I can be alone. A place with no whispers. And so apparently he came up here, hacked into the relay station, and then made it his home? Is that the story I'm getting here? Alright, we got a secret little outcropping here. You okay there? Alright, that's a story. Door room, it looks like. Some more vents. Deep fried sisty bits. Backhorn ears. Knock you out bar. Can salt tuna and brine. All kinds of the goodies you want to loot from space. There's a lot of explosives in this room. I have a feeling I probably should not have Parvati use her hammer. Now, this is a lot easier since we disabled the robots. I'm a little disappointed in that fact. We'll read that journal in a second. All right, I'm just going to stand back and I'm going to let Parvati do her thing and just kind of see where it ends up. Tactical shotgun, electric thing, more officer splines. We're getting a lot of those now. Oop, there's a... Uh... Come on, let me up. Alright, some more ammo. All right. Phrase journal, the source. The whispers have a source, and I found it. Found it. Wait, am I super quiet? I'm sorry. Oh, it's your own Twitch volume? Okay. Just wanted to make sure before I got into the story mode. Um, whispers have a source, and I found it. Found it. I've taken refuge on an orbital relay station. It's smaller than a Workle's hovel, barely a few thousand square meters. Oh, so this was like a fancy rich person. Who went insane. But sufficient for my needs. I was able to flee the Byzantium. I guess they were living in Byzantium where all the rich people live. With enough bits to purchase supplies to last for decades. It was strange being among common people on the Groundbreaker. The whispers barely stirred at the sight of their ill-fed, scarred, and unwashed bodies. If only there were fewer freighters docking there, bringing real people from Byzantium, I could almost have made a home free of temptation. Free. Free. So I made this place livable, or as much as it can be, I started hearing the whispers from the relay terminal. They told me to listen to the voices traveling through the Aether to reach me. Calling out to me to help them. Alone. Lonely. Needing my help. I found a way to power down the transmitter. No more voices in the Aether. No more whispers. They fell silent. 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 It was not me. It's not. Not. I'm not this foul thing that I have feared for so long. It was the voices in the Aether trying to make me hurt others. But I was stronger than they. And I have defeated them. 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 I've already begun making plans to return to my home. Now that the whispers are defeated, I can resume my life again. Can't wait to return. I miss my family and coworkers so much, especially Delilah. Well then, I'm just gonna. I uh, hope this doesn't chain react. Okay, so she switches to her personal energy pistol. Oh wait, what is it? You? There we are. No, oh, Pravati, I think I hit her. Oh. That's the last of them. Pravati. Um, you okay? Sorry about that. Oh. Oh dear. That janitor probably would be dangerous. Oh hey, I wonder if this gives us the uh, acid thing we need to repair Sam. Well, only one way to find that out. Loot first, then kill it. Nothing in the locker. But yeah, the acid seems to... Uh, hold on, let's see. What was our weapons and armor? Uh, combat? Damage types. Plasma, good against flesh, weak against mantisaurs. Corrosion, good against armor, auto mechanicals, mantisaur, and heavy armor. Okay. 
So the corrosion weapon is our weapon of choice in this area. That's dead or not. Here we go. Oh god, it's not anywhere near dead. Does it, does it not care? I'll get you right up. I still want to loot its acid module because we need that for. Oh! The janitor is an immortal object. It just gets back up. All right, sorry to bother you, Mr. Janitor. Nicely done. Okay, we got a secret ladder leading up. We also have those back passageways. And this is the front room. All the added effects you can put in, and I'm now luckily remembering to use the time dilation thing a little bit more often. Alright, well that's all six auto mechanicals on board, so we should be good to go. Oh, that was just the way into the kitchen. Oh no! Okay, we'll leave that guy there while we explore the other side pass. I'm sorry again, Mr. Janitor. Let's see. So this might be like a sneaky stealth route kind of a thing. Like you can go back into the vents. That's also where there's loot and chests. Ooh, what you find? Model spaceship, a gold riot helmet. Nice. Yeah, some armor. So we're getting lots of weapon and armor parts. Like I don't feel bad about like experimenting and powering up weapons and stuff now, because it's, you know, very much paying you back with it. All right, let's go up the ladder and see what's up there, and then we'll look at the actual terminal where we're supposed to go. Oh, this is a, this is a place from hell. I guess it's like an ambush spot if you want to shoot the robots, but it's also a place where you would just die if you uh, shot the wrong thing up here. Like, for example, can I get over this? You guys want to come down here, please? Sure. I do not want you up there when I blow everything up, because I would feel bad. Sure. Come on, down the ladder. Maybe over sure. here. <laughs> yeah, that would have killed somebody. That was a lot of damage. Probably don't need my diagnosis, but he's definitely dead. Yeah, no. Poor fella. Kinda guessed that. You think he did it to himself, Captain? That's real sad. Was kind yeah, of a crazy person, so you know. Not all bad. Alright, that's all the loot. Auto mag pistol. Relay control terminal passcode, the silencer. Could have been, also could have been called the speedy bleedy. It's a pretty good damage. That's actually a real good damage bleed weapon. You know, um, actually Ellie, why don't you take this? Because it's a unique. And that gives you extra speed on your uh, attack damage. I was so wrong, wrong. The whispers did not stop. Not, not. They have returned. They howl, howl, howl at me, demanding I return home and bathe the streets in crimson. Bright crimson. Beautiful crimson. I can only think of one way to end this. End, end. Forgive me, Delilah. Oh, damn. Well, that went into a little bit darker. Well, I guess, I mean, the other alternative was him going home and killing everybody, so I guess it wasn't as dark. I don't know. 
But, uh, use the terminal. Activate relay transmitter. Routing power to re transmitter array. Pathways are sync. Conducting power test. Initiating power transmitter array diagnostic. Report that 26 of 28 arrays are functionally operational. Ping has been received. Nice. All right. Untransmitted messages detected in memory cache. These messages will be downloaded to a physical storage medium. Copy sequence. Copy complete. All messages have successfully transferred to a physical storage device. And I gain the data. Sweet. So we can go bring this back to Edna, and she'll send out the messages to who they belong to. Well, now it's just a lonely janitor out here on the space station. Six mechanicals set to charging routine, zero percent to patrol. Well, they're all blown up now, so it doesn't really matter. All right, well, that was a nice little quick trip to the transmitter. Um, I have no idea what ennui is, so I have no idea. Um... So, let's see. I don't really know what else to do. All right, let's do, see what emissions we got. So silent voices, just need to go back to Edna, the control room, but that's really, really far away. So let's go to a different place. Um, we should go to Roseway eventually, but the there's a science weapon on Cilia. There's Captain Erion on Cilia. And... Yeah, it's not on Cilia. Yeah, so there's two quests we have on Cilia. So let's go to Cilia next and then head for the next place. And apparently purchasing the logs and data archives will also give us more clues to more science weapons. So, silly it is. One of the largest asteroids in orbiting Halcyon, the largest in a group of rocks known as the Cartabus Cluster. Festus Mining once claimed the asteroid, but its prospective site was abandoned decades ago. Prospecting, prospecting site. NUI is boredom. Ah. Well, thank you for that. Why did we make you feel boredom when you have, like, all the power in the entire ship and, you know infinite amount of time and stuff. That probably was not a great idea. I forgot I had a dodge. I never use it. <laughs> Alright. I think feel I'm feeling the same group. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Oh, this is sweet. It's like a giant, like, asteroid mining base kind of a thing. Alright, alright. What do we got for loot? Alright, insert captain's identification card to initiate remote landing. Alright, well, we're already landed Sarah, here. No laws, no lines, and a whole lot of guns. I love this place. All right. Looks like they started terraforming the place, but gave up halfway. Interesting. Ooh, looks like there's something up here. Stop falling off the edge, you two. I'm going. I'm coming. All right, there's loot and stuff down over here, and then there's a whole top area, and then there's just everywhere else. Uh, let's get a quest for here highlighted up. Do we know where this science weapon is? It is way the hell over there. All right. And we need to find the captain who's over that way. All right. What kind of enemies are we going to have here? Is it going to be robots? Is it going to be alien life? Bandits? She said a whole lot of guns, so I'm assuming it's going to be like bandits or something, but... We 
We just have to earn whatever we can for credits and stuff so we can afford to buy that uh, landing key for our main story quest. Oh, I didn't even notice I discovered that vending machine. What do they got? That's some pretty good base helmets and holy shit, these armors. That's really good medium armor. It's level 16 just straight off the bat. It's a little pricey for right now, but I can see getting it for my companions in the future. All right, let's sell some junk. Backpack mod that's pristine. Very nice, very nice. Wow, those do not sell for much, so we're just going to hang on to them because they have no weight. Um, do they have anything else worth buying? Doesn't look like it. All right. So I'm assuming this is like the... Why do you keep hurting yourself? I mean, this is like the edge of the, like, force field keeping the atmosphere on. Oh, there are mechanical robots. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that really... Wow, the vacuum of space kills you real damn quick. All right. Note to self, do not go out into the vacuum of space. Oh yeah, there are robots all over this damn place. And some sprats. I guess space rats live everywhere. Nice work. Here we go. What the fuck? Oh shit, it jumped down. You got it, Captain. Thank you, Pravati. Oh, okay. They also explode. Good to know. I was just shooting some space rats, and the thing's like, ah, oh, I'm angry at the whatever is going on down there. It is nice that they let you go out of bounds, but man, you can't make it more than 10 feet out of bounds before you die. I think uh, Wells was right about, about 12 seconds is about all you can last. Sounds like there's some bandits up top. Let's get our plasma gun out to handle them. Okay. That's the last of them. Here we go. Why is it we find fights every place we go? Because fights are fun. Wow, you guys uh, handled that real well. So I'm thinking the flamethrower is working pretty well. Although it might be a little close range for Pravati. I might want to give... Well, I guess I do send her in with the jumping attack. So I guess having close range weapon to keep fighting with would probably not be a bad thing. Yeah, I guess that actually isn't a bad idea. These guys melted. I wonder what they were fighting up here. Faded Broadsheet. The corner of the Faded Broadsheet is reserved for a Circus Time sponsored advertisement. Circus Team announces Primal Performance Tour. Come one, come all. Circus Time is about to turn your community into a circus town. Our patented Primal Performers can dance, sing, eat, and dance. Want to feed the Primals? Two bits for a bag of rat tails. Want to take one home? Ask our lawyers. 
Want to be part of the meet and greet retreat? Looking for looking into our pricing for our primal, premium primal pack. Keep your eyes to the sky. Primals are coming. Under no circumstances should primals leave their enclosure. Primals will consume human flesh. Unattended primals should be reported to the nearest circus time authority. Do not expose primals to gunfire, loud noises, or harsh environment or harsh language of any kind. Primal musk is toxic and mildly corrosive. Do not subserve, submerge body parts in primal musk. Circus time employees will never instruct guests to interact with primal musk ever. Damn. All right, catch you later, Death Angel. Glad you could join in for the stream. Oh, we got a toss ball. I wonder if that's just like... Oh, that's probably an item for... Uh... No? Yes. Aha, might look nice when the cruise room's on the unreliable. All right. Also, what is... Guess it's just an explosive barrel. All right. Oh, this must be what they were fighting was the Sprats. They did not survive well. Plasma rifle, though. Oh, that's what's humming. It's the shield projector. All right. And there's just loot everywhere if you know where to look. You know what I haven't done in ages, and I just realized it? I have not sold junk in ages, which is why I've got a lot of it, and it's actually got a moderate amount of waste. Or not a or waste, uh, weight. So I might want to dump that, because that's probably where half of my inventory capacity is gone. I just have to remember to hold Z when I go into a store. Oh, I see loot and stuff over here. got going on. Alright, let's get in the ship first, and then we'll go explore down. What goodies do we have? It's a firefly generator. Alright. There's an upstairs bit. I really wish we had a flashlight. Do we have a flashlight? I don't think we do. Combat drone. So much loot. I love how this game just kind of lets you go and explore anywhere you want. Like, there's not a lot of restricted areas that are completely off limits. And there's, like, actual dead enemies and loot and stuff to be found when you go over there. There's a lot of loot, but it's nice. Alright, Ringmaster's Lock. Circus time for primal performers. Predictably, our primal passengers broke free shortly after landing. I said this happened after the closure malfunction we hushed up on Byzantium. Who cares how many tickets we sold? That woman lost an arm. The first and second recovery teams never returned. The only way I can convince the rest of the crew to form a third team is if I join them. A management. Architect or race them. I'm not supposed to face this type of hazard. I'm leaving this journal with the ship in case we don't return. To any Circus Time employees reading this, immediately hand this device to your supervisor and stop reading. Circus Time supervisors, our plans to present to primal performers were premature. These creatures cannot be tamed. Next time marketing wants to present an actual circus, make them, make one of them lead the damn thing. Well then. Sounds like that didn't turn out well. So there's probably primals on this uh, planet, so that's good to know. So there's sprats, robots, and primals. Ooh, cargo bay. All right, tactical shotgun. Super dark. What do we got? Silver tongue kit. An elite troop armor. All right, that's 26 armor. A thug kit for more melee weapon skills. I think you guys are already higher than 26 armor, aren't you? You're equal to... And you're equal to. All right. But that probably is a higher base level armor that doesn't cost extra to upgrade. Yeah, it's a level 11, whereas these guys are wearing level 9s. So it probably starts its upgrade cycle on them. Also, we need to repair our armor sometime. Another critical hit damage barrel. All right, well, that was worth the loot coming up here. 
There's a back staircase over there, and then we can head down the other way. Uh, it does not appear like there's a parkourable thing over here. So I just saw that. And does this escape pod have anything in it? No. Boy, they tore the ship apart. Anything out over here? More secret cutter things on the underside or anything. I love how it gives you like all of these meds and all the meds are absolutely useless so I just end up selling them all. It's If I, I had to say there was a flaw in the game, it's they just did not design good temporary use items. Okay, that leads us out over here. I do see that over there behind that rock. And is there a secret tunnel? Nope, that's just light. All right, so let's explore this rock, and then we'll head back over to where we landed, and then we can come back over this way later. Ash Primal, that's new. All right, nothing on the combat drone. See some robots and whatnot down there. Oh, we're not even to the back to the point where we were on the uh, ship again. We're down below. All right, that's fine. got around here a whole lot of machinery and not a whole lot of like stuff to kill and stuff we're getting close up on another level though hey some more vending machines any secrets no okay this is that elevator lift off of our ship so that's good all right, so we can just sell anything else we're missing here. We don't need any of these items. And hold Z, sell junk. All right, that was a thousand credits worth of junk, so that's helpful. Um, Anti Cleos has some decent armor. But not great. And no uniques. Plasma Carbine. Good range, decent damage, even splash damage on nearest targets. Overcharged feature. Okay, that might be better than my Plasma Assault Rifle. We'll probably end up finding one, though, so I'm not going to waste money on it. Uniques are about the only thing that's really worth spending money on. Uh, is there anything over in this junk pile? Nope. Oh, we got Mechanical Guardians. All right, so we got a robot group. Protecting what looks like be a down fighter jet or something. Wait for a couple of them to get close to each other and then send Parvati in. Do I have a better heavy weapon for her? Because I don't think the plasma is actually going to be all that useful. Not really. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I still had my old electric gun for her to take out all these robots. Well, I'll learn to remember to pack some more of the uh, varied stuff and whatnot. On them. That's the last of them. Nicely done. Yeah, I like the health restore on kill because it means I can take a little bit of damage while I'm killing things, but me like if i had the stuff that restored my time dilation stuff i honestly use it about once a fight anyway maybe later in game i'll be using it more but for right now i keep forgetting i have it 
And just random miscellaneous loot on all of them. Where did the other one go? Isn't there a fourth one? Oh, these are like corrosive boxes. Alright. Ah, there's our loot chest for killing that. Also, there is a giant glowing pile of something over there. Telescoping staff, security braid, all right, some just general junk. Oh, that's a mega primal. All right, time to do a full save, because uh, it's been a little while. And mega primal sounds crazy, and that's apparently where the captain is, so we can go maybe repair his ship or something. Let's have some fun with a Mega Primal. That is not robot, so we can switch to our main gun. And there's a good amount of treasure over here that they're guarding. Man, there's a lot of wrecked ships and stuff. Jesus, look at the size of that thing! It is huge! It's like a boss. Let's go. Well, that's gotta hurt. Here I go. Jesus, twice her size. You guys could do that. Oh, it's after me. Reload, reload. Well, at least we can cripple things with our Q. Oh my god, that was worth 5,000 experience. Primal hide, primal brain, necklace, bracelet, cigarette lighter, grounded, energy ammo, a saber mark two. And it's, wow, pristine saber mark two. That is 220 DPS. That is actually better than a lot of this stuff. Um, Ellie, maybe? 233. Well, it beats the crap out of that, and this one isn't even modified with bleed. Damn. Um, guys, you okay? Let's reload everything. Guys? Oh, hey! There you are. Captain's Log, Independent Freighter getaway, getaway Sticks. I want to retire on Groundbreaker. One more job, I told myself. Never had any trouble with outlaws until now. I told them what we were hauling, but they shut off comms and opened fire again. They're shooting to wound. It's only a matter of time before this bird falls out of the sky. So I'm setting her down in hopes we can broker some agreeable terms of surrender. Even if it means my head, at least the crew gets a fighting chance. Can't shake the feeling that they were ready for me, like they knew exactly which route I'd take. What a way to end a career. Oh no. And the, the creepy sound that these shield projectors make, let me tell you. I like how there's also dead corpses, like these different groups of enemies and stuff interacted with each other before you got there. Like there's robots that are broken against the primals and stuff. I like it, it's a nice little touch. Or it could just be that the AI actually did fight each other and I just, you know, was in the area taking my time so long that they interacted. Let's go see what the big loot room has to offer. Oh. Oh dear, outlaw. Oh dear. Not sure I could trust the stealth skills on that thing. Telescoping Staff Mach 2. Um. 
Um, Plasma Launcher. Facing an unruly mob, hold your head high as the Jock Plasma Launcher lobs its plasma balls high. These mobs will disperse faster than you can say. Designated curfew. Try the new overcharge feature too. That's an overcharge weapon. Um, let's put that one on. Get a plasma grenade launcher. Oh, I want to go test it on something. How's my character weight doing? I'm doing decent enough. Alright, let's go see what's over here, and then we'll loop back over to the outer edge. Oh. Sublight thug. Okay, so sublight attacked the captain. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Like, sublight... You know, I get the whole, like, we're semi-honest pirate thing, but like, I don't know if they're just a little bit too far off of the side of good for me to join them. I mean, I'll do their missions when it'll screw over the board, but I don't think I'm going to take their missions if it screws over, like, just normal people. I'm trying to be, like, sort of upright and just in this playthrough. Getting close to the captain. Jesus, they really tore that ship apart. Or these are just other ships that have wrecked here. Also a possibility. I apologize for the flickering. That's my mouse going out. Ugh. All right, well, sniping isn't going to happen until I get a new mouse. So that should be a day or two for delivery. So it looks like the captain is there and he's surrounded by the outlaws. All right. Maybe I shouldn't use my grenade launcher just right now. So I don't accidentally friendly fire him. Solution vital. Can you want to tell me how the quest got updated? Find Captain Iron. Captain Iron's being held captive by the outlaws. Looks like he probably needs saving. Okay. We're not under attack. Oh, I like this. I like this gun a lot. Everyone all right? That guy's still burning to death over here. Yeah, no, I like this. It's a little slow to reload and stuff, but you know, very good explosion radius. Oh, good. It's one of the medic bots that we they were supposed to get delivered. So, the, you know, at least the uh, shipment's intact. I was hoping for that guy's armor. Like, this scout guy had, like, super cool armor. Look at that helmet. That is a creepy helmet. Um, boy, we just destroyed the crap out of them. Don't mind me. I'm just going to help myself to this chest. There's a flamethrower in here. Antibiotics, eh, because it's anti-Cleo. That's cute. Um, who's got the flamethrower? Oh. Well, I mean, this one might be more... Okay, this is a stunning flamethrower. But it's half the DPS of this flamethrower, so upgrade time. So now we just made her more effective. Anything in their little ship that's useful? Nope. All right, Captain, we're here to save you. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. 
Sure you were. Why does that sound familiar? Ah, uh -uh, it's Ellie. Excellent timing. Hello, Ellie. What a pleasure it is to see your sparkling beauty in this barren waste. It's Dr. Fenhill. I'm taking it he's like a Zap Brannigan kind of character. That's the vibe I'm getting. Crew. Mostly from the operating table. I've probably seen more of them than he has. How cruel you are. I distinctly remember a special party at the Lost Hope Bar on Groundbreaker where we... We did not. Oh, fine. But we almost... Keep going and you're gonna see how good this automech is at picking up teeth. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. <laughs> I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Captain here, and I take it? Sure, buddy. What were you where were they after? Um Yeah, what were they after? Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. Alright, what do you do now? What corporation do you work for? Who are these meds for? Supposed to be for the groundbreaker, but getting shot tends to hinder one's delivery plans. <laughs> All right, what corporation do you work for? Not a damned one. I'm a free man. There isn't a corporate snake that can hold down the inimitable Captain Irion. Is that a word? All right, what will you do now? Well, I've got some repairs to do. Thankfully, I'm as skilled a mechanic as I am a violence resolution expert. Then, to the groundbreaker. Better late than ever, I say. Unless you're very late. Then you might consider defaulting and skipping station. Those fees will bankrupt you. I'll let Wanda know her shipment's on the way. Where's my thank you? You're lucky to be alive. Thank you for what? I had this all squared away until you showed up and riled the pirates. And now, I'll be off. Good day, and do give my chilliest regards to Wanda. And farewell to you, dear Dr. Fenhill. I trust I'll see you next I find myself on the Groundbreaker. You'd better hope not. You saved me the cost of ammunition. Thanks, pal. Yeah, not a huge fan of him, but hey, we helped out Dr. Uh, Fen... No, Dr. Fenhill's the one in our party. We helped out Wanda, Dr. Dorset. so I'll let, him know, let her know that uh, we found him when we get back, which means Weapons from the Void is our last mission here, plus looting the entire planet, so, you know, asteroid. Shouldn't take too long. I'm curious about that center building, but we'll kind of work our way back over that way. I wonder if that mega beast was one of the ones from the circus. Like, that thing was a little insane. I see some more primals over there. What do we got over here? Some more loot. More primals. I really like having two companions with two special skills, though, because, man, do you feel super powerful sticking them into a group of enemies. Like, these fights do not last long, and we're on, like, second hardest difficulty. Pile of dinos and enemy Graham slam that concusses enemies, but vulnerable afterwards. The smellier, the better. Thank you. 
Thank you for taking care of the one that just popped out next to me. Okay, we probably started that fight in the wrong order. Alright. Parvati, we need to get you some more health. That needs to be a priority on your upgrades once we're done with your personal upgrades, because uh, you tend to die a lot. Also, probably the flamethrower and sending you in with a hammer. Probably not the best strategy against giant gorillas. It's also partly my fault because I switched to the, auto, the electric gun and not the plasma gun, so I was not exactly helping for part of that fight. And I'll have more Outer Worlds next time, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode.